how much of a realistic possibility if both teams win out do you think that is? Well, I, I think it is a realistic possibility if Ohio State doesn't just win those games but dominates them. I mean, go back to the way they beat Wisconsin. The, the first time that they had a game where people were really circling as, okay, this is a true test. And it was a competitive game for the first half, and then Ohio State just, just ran away with it in the second half. If they win comfortably against Penn State and against Michigan and in the Big Ten championship game, all of a sudden, like when, when the smoke clears, they have about the same number of wins as LSU does against the top 25. Now, maybe, maybe they wouldn't have as many top 10 wins, um, but it, it would be close enough that I think the committee could say, hey, you know what, there are some things resume-wise where Ohio State stacks up very well with LSU, and then just based on the eye test, we think they look like a more complete team because they're better on defense. And, and I think it, it is a big deal because this is shaping up where, like you said, if LSU beats Georgia and you have, you know, in some order, Ohio State, LSU as the top two teams and then Clemson as, as the third seed, whoever gets in as the fourth seed. And at this point, with Alabama not having two anymore, it really doesn't even matter if Alabama is one of them. You know, you would look at this, and this is a huge advantage for the one seed. I mean, there haven't been many years like this so far in the playoff where you would say that 2-3 is a toss-up game, but but one should have a pretty easy go of it. And, and maybe some people wouldn't say that about Oregon, Utah, or Oklahoma, but I, I don't think there's any question. The big gap here in the, in the, in the, the, the playoff teams will be between the third seed and the fourth seed if LSU beats Georgia. So this is where where I'll I'll, I'll uh, wrap it up, Brad. You, as we mentioned when we start, like I don't I don't even know if I would call it intuition. I just think you have a great understanding of this and how a lot of these things work. So I would defer to you here. If LSU wins on in the SEC championship against fourth ranked Georgia, a one versus four, even if they were behind Ohio State at that point, do you think a win a, a top four win like that with the resume LSU already has? would be enough for them to solidify the one spot regardless of what Ohio State does? I don't know, because what they will not tell us is what is the gap between the two teams going in. Like, is it neck and neck, and Ohio State was just barely ahead? Uh, what are the margins of victory? Because, look, whether it's Minnesota or Wisconsin, you figure that's a top 10-ish. Like, the, the, that team is likely to be ranked somewhere around 10. So it's still a high-quality win for Ohio State. Even It wouldn't be as good as beating Georgia, but it's still high quality. So, uh, look, if LSU goes and wins that game by double digits, then okay. Then I, then I think there's, there's pretty good justification for putting LSU number one. Uh, and then, obviously, if LSU goes into that weekend ranked number one, then you'd think beating Georgia will keep them there. But yeah, I think I think it's going to be very important what happens these these next two weekends. Uh, if if Ohio State, like I said, wins convincingly against Penn State and against Michigan, I don't know that there's anything LSU can do on their end to keep Ohio State from jumping them. And uh, once again, it's it, it could be a year where it's a big deal whether you're the one seed or the two seed. 